All right, we are live here with Sean Montgomery from Montgomery Media. So, so he's award-winning Montgomery Media now since he joined our <laughs> chat a couple of years ago. Uh, <laughs> How's it going, Sean? How are you? It's going well, Chris. It's going well. I know. I wouldn't have won them awards if it weren't for the wedding chap. <laughs> I'll not talk about your speech that day. We'll not go into it. <laughs> uh, say nothing about that, uh, that acceptance speech. <laughs> so how's it going, mate? All good? All good. It's, it's strange times, you know. With all this whole COVID-19 malarkey, you know. Everybody's moved dates and it's... I kind of don't know what to do with myself for a full year. You know, paint the fence where I've never got the chance to paint the fence and, you know, do all the odd job shops. I started painting the fence, got halfway down it and just gave up. Right, so what questions have you got for me? Or what questions have people hit me with? Uh, so we're bringing you on just for each chat because there's friends and grooms out there who maybe think about booking videography or going mm-hmm. to fans about it, you know? So it's always good to hear from someone who's been it years, you know? You're done it how many years now? It must be, must be 10, 12, no. over. 20. 20 years? Yeah. My, my first wedding was 20 years ago. I, have, I, I don't think I've been doing it consecutively every year for 20 years, but my first wedding I ever filmed was back in... 2001 so it's coming up to 20 years and it was uh sean and glenda marley um i'll never forget it i thought i was a bee's knees on the boat with a wee tripod and my one camera do you know there was no sound do you know i had, wasn't clipping mics on to people back then i was never heard of it was just turn the camera on and hope for the best you know but anybody got in your way you had to literally push them all move it away but yeah about 20 years did youth work for a long time but um I soon found out that I really just wanted to go into this for myself as a business so I've been doing weddings full time I'd say now for about six years or more it's more than that but say six years about six seven years six years full time on it really mm, yeah I flam straight at it like just like we you started that shop up I think I was one of the first people you contacted and uh, I remember I remember you were saying to me listen we've seen you at weddings you're mad like there's nobody else does what you do. I'm going, why what is it that I do that's any different from anybody else? You're like, you're up on chairs. I actually think I seen you at a table at one point. <laughs> I think you probably did. Uh, you, you know, uh, I tried to get even with that one wee camera, I was trying to get like multiple different angles of the entire night just to try and just to capture the atmosphere, do you know? Because yeah. basically some weddings can be absolutely brilliant. Just you just want to get it, you know, right. Mm. How did you start off then? Didn't you start off learning about our youth club or something, wasn't it? Oh, I was very young. I was only about 17. Um, it was Stephen Hughes, right, Bosley? It was Stephen Hughes who says to me, um, would you like to learn video editing skills? And I went, oh, I go for it, sure, why not? And me and we, Don McAdory and Stuart, God, love Don McAdory, he's not with us anymore, but um, us three did it. It was only a seven-week course. Really, I was in, but I was hooked. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Loved every bit of it. Um, yeah. And it just progressed from there, did more training and ended up working over in Canada for a few months with uh, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation and stuff. So it led the known doors to loads of possibilities, absolutely loads. So it's, oh, that's how I started off. Yeah, yeah. So listen, the second, second week, I was the first question I wanted to ask you before you get into it and how long you've been doing, you know. But the yep. second question is the biggest question you hear in the you yourself, you'll have heard this one. Where brave and groom basically after the wedding, it's their biggest regret not booking video of it. A hundred percent. It's number one. Yeah. All yeah. Really groups. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is their biggest regret when they don't actually book video? It's too late after. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you explain why it's so important to have? For your right. without, without me saying this in a way where I'm trying to sell what I do because what I do is not I don't do this for to make loads of money and go oh yeah frig this yeah I'll just film it wherever way I want and just do this and be flippant about it I film it in a way as if it was my own wedding as if the way I would like it filmed I put a lot of passion I, I care about your day as much as you care about your day and that's the way I look at it um, yeah. so for me when a bride says, oh, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bother getting video. And I would say, oh, well, did, was it a wee bit of a regret? And she would go, it was my number one regret. Hands down. Some people go, no, it wasn't a big regret because they just don't like being filmed. Nobody likes being filmed. I don't even like listening to myself. I'm going to watch this back on the internet tomorrow or whatever. And I'm going to go, you know, everybody does <laughs> it. Is that, is that what I sound like? Is that what I look like? Is that how I get on? 
it's who cares at the end of the day. But yeah, they do regret it. Yeah, it's one of the number one regrets a braid has because what they find and what they find is after time has gone on, the photo album, as lovely as it is, I'm not disrespecting photographers because I work with some of the best and they're absolutely a talent at what they do, but they don't capture the sound of the laughter. They don't capture this, you know, the movement of the dress as it's as she's twirled on the dance floor. Do you know it? It doesn't. It doesn't capture, you know, loved ones who, whether we like it or not, this is a morbid way of looking at it. But not everybody lives forever, so you're going to get aunts and uncles, or grannies and grandes, or mothers and fathers or that, have, that that will pass away, and it's great to look back on and go, wow. I've got what are you here? I've got one video clip of my daddy. My daddy's dead 20, 21 years or so. I've got one 10 second clip. One ten second clip, and it was from uh, my granny and granddad's wedding anniversary. And my uncle, he filmed it. He uh, on an old, old big camcorder, giant spotlights, the whole shebang. But he turns to my daddy, and my daddy just get, you know catches the camera's eye and smiles and goes, "All right." And see that ten second clip? To me, that's everything, absolutely everything. And that's why I believe video is important. It's very important. It's important to document to amazing families coming together it's important to document you know yeah you're a big day but see if you've got children and your children at the wedding see looking back at them and going oh look at all the age of her oh look her sir stacy she was still pregnant at that time or whatever you know it's just amazing it's a time machine that's the way i look at it it just brings you back straight back to that moment and you are literally in there see our wedding you know like we obviously got photo on video of both brilliant, you know, but I've looked at the video more times than I've looked at the album. Mm -hmm. That was great, but... And it's not disrespect on photographers, it's really not. No, 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 no. But you need the photos, the photos are in, yeah, or, yeah. there was one in the living room, I've just changed things about mm -hmm. a little bit, but you always have one the pictures about you, yeah, but you yeah. watch the videos, you know, like, we, our, our speeches were brilliant, big, big here still on my drawer and all, ripping yeah. the arse, ripping the arse, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, yeah. part, yeah. and then you, your kids dancing about it, all, you know, and that, but you know, that, that thing, I, I always say at the break, don't you will look back at your video. Yeah, yeah. But there's loads you, there's loads you forget on the day. And that's that's the thing. I, I, I like it because, see, me, I have a memory on me like an absolute sieve. I have everything written down or post-its or in this diary or in that. And, and like, it's when it came to my wedding day, I forgot, no joking. 80% of it, the rest the of rest it was a blur. It was pretty fast, it just flies. Woof. woof, woof, oh my God. We were just... We, we, we were okay in the morning and then we got, we're at the chapel and then we're over here and then we're over there and then we're over there and then we danced here and we had something and it was gone and it's done and it, it makes you go, what the hell happened? <laughs> Where did they go? So it's great to be able to have somebody there, like, m my type of wedding videography is more, it's traditional but it's not traditional in the sense of, you know, you've got these champagne glasses, you know, opening up and there's Mr. and Mrs. Taylor and stuff, it's nothing like that. No, it's, but it's traditional in the sense of, I film what happens on your day up until around 10 p.m. So it covers absolutely everything. Well, it's everything is one person can, you know, um, and that's the way it's given. Now, some photographers, what they do is they give a 10 minute beautiful film. Now, mine is a documentary film. In a 10 minute film, I am not saying that that is not enough or that's not good enough. What they produce is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning and you pay for that that type of quality too as well what i try to do is i try and incorporate both of those words so you'll get the lovely footage at the start with the preparation and stuff you also get the lovely footage um after the the, the the service but you will get the main parts of the service you know like obviously come to the chapel sometimes we can actually we, we do get you coming into the chapel but sometimes we don't it all depends on that see that half an hour between leaving the house and getting to the chapel and walking down the aisle, that can be very stressful at that, at that half an hour. So getting people in and out and getting cameras set up. I film with four cameras, I have two audio recorders and everything else to get out of the bag and set up. You know, um, so sometimes it can be all a wee bit of rust, but we can definitely guarantee we get you coming down that aisle, we get you saying your flowers, we get you um, the readers. We like to put on the readers too as well, because they play a, a, a nice important part. And then after that, it is your flowers and then readers again, and then sending the reds and walking back down. So that's filmed like live event. As it happens, yeah, all the big moments. After that, it is the photo shoot with the photographers. Now, depending on what your who your photographer is, like I've worked with, I'd say ninety percent of photographers I've worked with, or sorry, ninety nine percent of them, of absolutely very high end, very professional photographers. Um, and depending on how good or what type of style there is, really rubs off on me as well because then I, I like to set up a few shots and get a few things done as well. Um, but 
we would film that in a really kind of like wedding film type of state. You know, um, we also document you know the, the, the mothers and fathers and the bridesmaids and all getting their photos and all done as well. Not many people do, but I think they just film at all. Um, yeah. So, do you think it's do you think it's beneficial what what kind of photographer you already have? The Duke of Bride Groom should try and book you maybe with guys that you've worked before, people you recommend. And yeah. Kind of the right hand those with the left hand. Yeah, it, 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 you know? it's 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 experience. One thing, you know, being with the shop, right? I've gotten to know a lot of photographers. I've got to know every style and know what works for them and what works for me. And I've oh, there's only ever been one photographer that I've never got on with. But we'll, we'll say, I'm not here to discuss that. I'm here to say about the photographers I do get on with and see the ones that I do get on with. We gel. So what we do is, I'll set something up and he'll go, oh, do you mind if I take a shot of that? And I go, listen, that's what we're here for. You take a shot of what I set up, you, I'll take a wee shot of what you set up, and we'll work together and we'll just flow. And see that flow, it makes it easier on the brain groom. The brain groom actually just don't even realise that they've already had 50 photos taken and a load of video yeah. done in short time. You don't need to bring a brain groom to, say, a park and spend an hour with them. No need. A good photographer and photographer team will have it done within... 25 to 30 minutes tops. I actually worked with a photographer, it was a Chris Houston, and he actually puts me stopwatch on his phone and goes, There we go, I bet you I can get this done. And he doesn't rush it, he definitely doesn't rush it, but he gets the quality. And that's what it's like working with somebody that you know and you've worked with before, and you always get good results. So, yeah, working with people from that you already know and you've worked with before and recommend his package stays 100% works. 100%. How do you recommend it? That's another thing I would hear from Brad is you know, they just maybe weren't too fast and spending too long getting the photos took, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. just wanted to someone to go around and document it, you know, yeah. and same with the videos, you know, you yeah. want the face that it, want people walking behind the scenes as soon as they got you guys kinda do, you know, just yeah. Yeah. get all the footage done without intruding on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you just kinda do, yeah. You said again, sorry, the last bit you broke up. Is that what you can do? You just can't, you, you and this is how you work. Instead, you just don't check that intruding on them really, you know, you can't. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. The whole point is not to be intrusive, but you kind of can't help being there in the moments of moments that are happening. When we say not intrusive, doesn't mean that I'm filming constantly with a long lens away down the back of the chapel. That's not how it works. Um, but you try to be as less intrusive as possible. A lot of the times, I mean, a lot of the times I have brains coming back to me and going, we forgot about you. We actually forgot about you. We didn't even realize you were there at half ten or ten o'clock when you were still filming. And I'm like, well, that's a good thing. Uh, that is a good thing. You you, you got to be there in the moment, but at the same time, like a ninja, like a video <laughs> ninja, and try not to be too much in their face. So we see, uh, you can't touch on something that was going to ask you anyway. Taking us through a typical day, so you've kind of done that. Mm -hmm. But in your whole job from meeting the parade and groom. Right from the start of the movie, right through the typical day, it's kind of straight, right up the attic. How, lot, how much kind of work comes in there? Because I don't think people appreciate sometimes the work that video editors do, you know oh. what I mean? These aren't cheap, but... The, no, no, and there's a reason there's why we're not cheap. Not cheap you, you actually put in there, and I was like, wow, I didn't pick up on that myself. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I think it's important to yeah. maybe hear what I heard that day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm going to show you a clip in a wee second of my timeline, um, what it looks like, um, and the amount of cuts and, and every single... Uh, Video clip needs color grid, it needs sound, needs everything, but I'll show you that in a wee second. This is what it takes to make a full wedding film. I've put the screen way small. There's a big, I'm just picking it up way small so you see the entire, all the different tracks up here. It's going to show the entire timeline. This is just a single camera on its own, but then when you get to the service, you add multiple cameras, different audio uh, recorders and whatnot, and you have to splice and cut every little clip. Fix the color, fix the contrast, fix the exposure, fix the audio fix the balance, mix them in, it just goes on and on. Now we're back to single camera, now we're back to triple camera. This would be for speeches and they're just, there's just so much involved in making. This is a documentary package, the one and only package that we now offer. Um, it is just as hard and as long putting together this as it is putting together a feature film that you would see Hollywood or, you know, it's the same long process. May not be, you know, you're not going to get special effects like Halloween, but my God, it's the same long process no matter what, and it just keeps going and going and going. There's just so much editing to do. You can see they're all individually cut, each little clip, all put together piece by piece like a giant jigsaw puzzle. It takes time, folks, to put these together, but they're always worth it in the end. I know some people are waiting, but you just will. 
be very happy when you do get yours eventually all the way to the end so just have to make this a little bit smaller so you can see the entire thing it's massive absolutely massive that's why it takes forever um but yeah there's a lot of work a lot, a lot of work see the dj turns up he does his job he goes home the caterers turn up they do their job they go home the floors turn up they do their job they go home you know the suits you know you get them and you send them back to the shop they're, they're just one time done the only two people that still work for weeks and months after your wedding is your photographer and your videographer sometimes photography takes a, a, a away um, and I think that's more to do with waiting on braids braiding and grooms or grooms getting back to you with the photos that they've picked but um, there's a lot more there is a lot more work in the edit 100% there's, there's loads I have to fix audio I have to fix color grading you have to put the clips in order, you have to take, oh, there's just a nightmare, an absolute nightmare, and it is time consuming. How long does it take you to edit a full video, and what can you kind of write? Roughly, what do you aim for? I aim for a minimum, and I always say minimum, because things can change. Hello coronavirus, for example, which is completely through the whole edit schedule out the window. Um, is a minimum of four months, I would say. Now, I was talking to a videographer slash photographer a lot of months ago, and I say, as long as it, do you do documentary wedding films like I do? Like it'll be over an hour, hour and a half, or maybe even more long. And he goes, oh yeah. And I says, well, how long does it take you to do an edit? He says, if it was to sit down and just get stuck into it, two days. Me, wow. Have you had any kids? He says, no. <laughs> Since you know what I mean. Everyone's circumstances. Exactly. Are good. You know, you know. mentioned we're all in the storm together, but we're all in different boats going different directions. 100 percent same. Um, every videography company is different, um, and because they're quicker doesn't mean they're any less, or because they're longer doesn't mean they're any less. It's not because people are being lazy and taking their time. It's because we're human too. You know, my six year old is going to go and crack up for the next three days because of his Fortnite game or something. Do you know what I mean? Things just, just sailing you too as well. But the bottom line is it just is a long process to edit. Um and that's okay. See if somebody can do their wedding film and edit it and put it out within a week and a week after the wedding you go to the bread here, there you go is your wedding film. Nobody really wants to see it right away. Yeah, I think, think some brave maybe hearing that their friend got that and then they're expecting oh, that themselves. That's even worse. That's even worse. My uncle says that you says that, or my uncle says that uh, the other company they, they got theirs within a month. That's nice. Yeah. That's, that's, that's nice. That's nice. That's brilliant. 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 He must be. Well, what's that again? They may not be as busy as their videographer. Sure. Sure. Well. Well. Do you know? You know to do? I had fifty four weddings. Uh, was it last year or the year before? Can't remember. But it was 54. It was my busiest year ever. And that was tough. And see if you would even ask my wife. My wife is really excited for me to finish these last three edits I have here. Um, so I can actually spend time with the kids. And actually spend time with the wife. And actually relax. And actually paint the fence out the back. Do things that normal people do. Because she is a fairy editor. Nobody understands the pressure that they're under. They're at a computer, 24, 24 7. I would sit from half nine in the morning till one o'clock in the morning trying to get stuff done. And it's crazy. There's just the amount of work, it's, no. it's silly. I can't do that myself. No, See, it's not. It's not it's it is. It is. I've got the stuff from the laptop. I, I can't limit it. It'd be two hours. Because you can't over two hours. You, just, you need to go walk, walk away for a while, come back maybe and do it. Yeah. Yes, you would two hours. You know, so would you guys do 10, 15 hours of oh, I have a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> It doesn't help, but I'm, I'm using actually a broken, a, an old broken laptop at the moment because my good one broken, and I went and had to buy another one the day, which is another costly thing. Well, that's another thing going on to price. Um, I I wouldn't be above. I would I would say it would be just about above average price for a videographer. Where I started off at like five nine nine, and and there is videographers out there that do it for five nine nine, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine if they're starting off, or they just like to do their work at five nine nine. But when I added that up, see, <laughs> this is brilliant. I added that up throughout the year and divided it all and worked it out as a wage. I was getting, I, I think I was minus something an hour. I was losing, hemorrhaging absolutely. Well, so did you work out like you already did? What you worked at the wedding, and then I don't took the edit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Charge and, and put the hours down, and I was I was weighing the minutes. I was working for nothing. That's how it worked out. The only way I could have made a sustained, normal kind of income was to raise my prices, and I found that very difficult to begin with because 
I didn't understand what my worth was or what my skill set was or what level I was in, so I had to go learn. And I went and I educated myself, I learned more, I got upskilled myself. But the biggest thing that I had to do was invest money. So right now, you know, I've just bought a drone. Just let you know. Um, someone looking at drone too. No, I'm not <laughs> selling. Someone messaged me today looking for a drone. Really? 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 Don't be asking me to do something. I haven't even flown the thing yet, no. But um, I just bought new cameras, and they're not cheap. Nothing's cheap. Nothing's cheap. If you buy, uh, you know, the cameras that I bought here are twelve hundred pound, fourteen hundred pound, drone another thousand pound. This, that, and the other. You have to be if you want to be the best at what you do, or you want to be at the quality, the standard that you really want to put yourself forward for. Then you have to invest the money. You have to invest the time and the skills. So the price had to go up, and I'm actually glad about it. It took a lot of pressure off me because it was actually burning myself into the ground by charging 599 and having all these because people were diving at me for it yeah I'll do it I'll film my win film my win and it was all well and good but it near burnt me out and almost quit the whole industry yeah well your presence kind of what I see from other suppliers too you know that they do what you do they're sitting around though you know and there's packages deep far near there's maybe a couple that are a little bit cheaper that are newer to the game like you were a couple years ago but mm -hmm. more or less your prices are about that like, you know yeah. you know you're, you're there all day, and I will say you're going to be allowed to have a round of weapons, good practice. Oh, I love it, Ren. Well, here's a, here, well, here, here's a wee video clip of just how professional I actually can be. We see, we'll get a wee close up. We see these guys, we see, smooching away. Look at this. Look at this. Go, we smooch. Uh, uh, I swear to God. Laugh uh. it, let it Look at this. I thought the wedding day was over. Look at this. 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 Look Woohoo! Mark! Mark! Hello! Where are you? Oh, there's a... Yeah. Rocking the gold, man. I think we're going to be <laughs> right, well listen, so the sixth question I had for you was, you, you, you touched on it earlier, so you've been part of the wine shop since more or less day one. Day one. You were one of the first one, yeah? Yeah. Uh, um, it's yourself and Kath McCallum and Emma and mm -hmm. the one, all, all the, the founded members, you know? Um, <laughs> how have you found being part of the wine shop? Have you enjoyed it? Wow. What did you say to the other suppliers and Oof. being part of the team and the crack? What a journey. What a journey. What an absolute pleasure it's been. Like. I wish I had met you, Chris, and I mean that wholeheartedly as a friend and as a, a colleague. I wish I had met you the year or two before when I was getting married, because I mean, no, no problem. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. See, see when when you've got an amazing team put together and you don't just put it together by willy nilly. Anybody, you put it together and you work hard together, um, and you put a good plan together. It works. It works really well. And I wish I had the, the the simplicity of being able to go great. We want to book our wedding, but we don't know what way to go about it. And then you've got this guy, Chris, who's just going to go, what do you want? Do you know, if it's like you got a magic wand to go, I'll fix it for you. What do you need? Bump, 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 bump. And how do you pay for it? Just do Chris and then the, the wedding shop and the wedding shop then sorts it out. Instead, we were running about, and I mean, seriously, my head was melted trying to organise. I and mean, it wasn't even me doing most of it, it was, the, it was the wife. But we had to pay this person and then we had to remember how much we paid that person then we're checking emails going right how uh, 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 much did we pay for the car how much did we pay that it was a head melt you, uh, you know the best thing I could ask any any couple who's considering to get married is contact a wedding job first just do it just talk to him how much is it at a wedding on average what it is he can do for you and then try and, try and imagine figuring all that out on your own you, you, you realise that you'll go couple hours bad. No, I would rather, I would rather I have somebody do it. One of the times people have seen the benefits right now with this coronavirus, you know. Uh, 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 Even Wednesday, I tell you what, when I first came out, I freaked out thinking, well, this is going to be a 
big, big job for me here, but yeah. we've worked really well. But, but it's tough. It's tough. It's tough a wee way to find the the rhythm and the flow of what way things have went. But you've never steered me or anybody that I know in a wrong way or put us in a direction where we thought it would be a bad thing or anything. If anything, I'd met, oh Jesus, hundreds of different contacts through this wedding shop. Hundreds. The jobs that I've got from it, not just the ones that would be booked through the shop, but through talking to a florist and then me going, here, listen, I, I advertise out of the wedding shop. Have you ever tried it? No, oh, what's that all about? And I would tell them it's about, and all of a sudden the team starts growing and stuff. It's just brilliant. Absolutely Good to like, yeah, really I've, I've seen a few criticisms in the shop saying, like, some that aren't part of the hey, shop, hey, hey, I'm, hey, a bit like, hey. I'm a bit like you on that match them, but yeah. they're, they're kind of getting the message out there that it's yeah. dear to put through the shop, which yeah. uh, you're a perfect example. It's actually, mm. you'll tell your customers to come to us and offer them 100 quid off for doing that. You're, yeah. you're, it's cheaper to put you through the shop, isn't it? It is, it is indeed, it is indeed. Um, Do you want me to do your admin? <laughs> uh, we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting you in. No, um, it is true, you know. I mean, the brains will get you cheaper by booking us, you know. Listen, you, 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 can, you can go and try and save even more money, but in reality, if you want the suppliers who are in the shop, the only way you're going to get them with a hundred pound off and a free online mini movie worth three hundred pounds, or you're saving four hundred pounds for me alone, is to go through the shop. You know, if you come to me, you'll get the price that I advertise at. Um, if, what am I saying this for? I'm shooting myself right in the foot. No, if you go to the shop, you will get that discount. That's four hundred pound, four hundred notes that you've saved off a package that you would not have saved if you went with directly to me. But um, yeah, it's a rule. I you know yourself. It's a rule I've always had. New suppliers are the charge the earth in the shop. It has to be. Has to be the best place to it. Yeah, it becomes a place where people will recommend you'll never charge there, you know. So it's good. You're one of those. Trust. Trust. <laughs> You're the good suppliers that do that, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, right, okay. So what's what's? I think I had my last question then. Yes. What yes. is the? Well, you kind of maybe did it there as well. But what is the bit of advice you'd give the couple starting the wedding plan right now? Well, obviously, I'll let you give. I'll let you give two because you kind of give one that are saying contact us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. actually, actually plugged in. That's it plugged on. Um, the best advice I would give, see, on my wedding day, I was groomzilla. The wife was as cool as a cucumber. I was groomzilla. I was freaking out about the least little thing. Ah, oh, what about this? And oh, 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 that napkin's not full of stupid, stupid stuff. It wasn't until the wife, <laughs> driving from the chapel up to Tully Glass, he says, Sean, you're going to have to relax and just chill out. We've been planning this for a long time and you're a stress ball. And it dawned on me. It's maybe we don't get a rerun of this. Just shut up and get on with Sean and just relax so do relax stop worrying about the small stuff you've got bridesmaids you've got groomsmen they're there to run about and do all the run about for you so use them that's what they're there for it's your day sit relax and don't worry about a thing because you've been planning it for long enough and even if something small goes a little bit off centre or whatever it may be don't be worried about it and what big day enjoy your day you only get I used to work I used to work in the shop she put a wee thing up one time with that saying it's on her Instagram basically saying like don't get too worried. It was we saying, but said better than I'm going to say it now. Yeah. It's basically, don't get too worried about wee things that may go wrong. It's a party at the end of the day, and as long as everybody has a good team, including yourselves, yeah. it's a success. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, I always say the price to it is a good bit of a fish. You know, just oh. relax, don't get too stressed. You know. Also, if you can make your guest list right away, and the reason why you do this, right, is because me and the wife had made ours, and then. She went and fell pregnant. It wasn't my fault, like, but she went and fell pregnant, and we had to put the the wedding back. And oh, me too. I don't have to see the date on purpose. Um, uh, and we, we had, had to move put our wedding. We had to put the wedding back. But see, when we revisited that guest list, we went sat and went, um, why? What's wrong with us? There's no way. Can't invite that person. What are we doing? We're inviting half a district here. What is, is, is this a showcase or something? You know, and we actually whittled it down to the, the, the core, core people that we really wanted there, um, which I thought was brilliant. So I recommend do your guest list right away. It's not going to be a real guest list. Revisit it in one year and then have an hour go at it. I mean, just a bit, I, mean, I started with <coughs> the Mikias and we were, you know, rogging. She wanted all her family there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted all my mates. And we were going right. That's come to some sort of there's too many, but we couldn't get rid of anybody. It was just yeah, things yeah. are all going. You can't tough. say but we, we ended up with 112. I always say that's why I always say the the guest that's well done. It always mm. takes it, 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 
it takes away, but it definitely will go down. It definitely will go down. Um, the only other advice I would give is, yeah, just get somebody else to do all the all the donkey work. Give Chris a shout. Um, he will organise it, and he will be there twenty four seven, literally. The phone, the email, the send a message to a few very like my God, many 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 brides have you moved till like the following year. Or, or well, this year, I think I've moved. I think there's been about about a hundred now. Nah, easy, maybe hundred ten. That's a hundred couples, hundred couples, and he's had the phone ring. You know, four o'clock in the morning. No, but Tracy, I swear to God, you're dead secure now. I said, yes, you're floors and everybody's sorted out. Right. Your cars are sorted out. Right. You know, that's a hundred people that you've you've reassured, you've organised. It's a hundred new graveyards. It's a hundred new graveyards. It's a hundred new what? It's a hundred new what? Of a hundred new grey hairs. Uh, on your <laughs> Yeah, no, listen, that's what it's all about. No, yeah. I mean, they're obviously stressed. It's a hard time at the minute. So, I mean, we know what we're doing. We know how to fix it for them. Yeah. As I yeah. said, it was a bit daunting at the start, but it's been pretty smooth, you know, because we have so many suppliers. Yeah. yeah. You know, like you, you know yourself, we're all in that week group. If, if you're booked up on a new date, maybe William or Dar or Reese and Laura are going to help you or now, you know, and yeah. then yeah. If something happens. And they're trying to make, make a cut there, so that they're not out of, out of money or anything, you know. Well, that, that's that's another thing. That's another thing I wanted to touch on as well. Is the videography community itself is tight, really, really tight. As in, like we're all close. We're all we all support each other. We all give each other advice. We like even today, I'm on a videographer group of Ireland. And any advice I need on any subject to do with videography, to do with bookings, to do with laptops, anything. I was on the day, you know, showing them laptop specs and stuff, and they were able to reassure me on everything I needed. But it's the same if I get rebooked, or I've made a double booking for some reason or another, um, and I can't actually be there to physically film somebody's wedding. I have plenty of people I can say, well, listen, is there anybody here to cover a date? And they have no problems coming up and covering a date as well. It's like it's different with the photographer. The photographer's very personal. You're, you're, you're expecting that person where... I can say to another videographer, look, this is my style, this is what I'm looking for, and they'll go radio, no problem. They'll phone the day and I'll do the edit, you know. But it's it's the same as a shop. I'm sure it's the same if, if you know, a room style is, is double booked or couldn't or doesn't have a certain tree, but the other one does, the other one will land the tree or something. Do you know what I mean? There's that closeness and, you know, camaraderie about it all. It's why well, it's good. It's, to be honest, it's why I keep bringing suppliers on, do you know what I mean? It's, so we always have options. Mm -hmm. just, there's as far as you've never seen this coming, nobody's seen this coming, but we've now been able to move everybody. I think only one girl lost a uh, bill of saxophone, you know what I mean? And, yeah. yeah. Um, I've been trying to get an R saxophone. You've been right. learning yourself as well, haven't you? I'm actually learning myself. <laughs> well, I don't know why I put up a clip. Will I put a clip up of, of uh, Chris and a saxophone? I might now, I might, I might, I might quit. <laughs> I'm not ready just yet. I can play. I can play. Uh, what can play? I can play Nas and Norma and Danny Boy. And when the Saints go march to them, but that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like what I want. No one wants to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, playing beach ball and all. You know, and then the cops out. We've got Chris and the saxophone. I'm taking, I'm taking bookings for 2027. <laughs> push it back, man. Push it back. Push it back. You'll be ready. You'll be ready. Just for a bit of crack. That's when we're retirement. I'm not going to live in a beach with a saxophone. Yeah, oh, I'm going to retirement. Sure we're going to buy our own wee beach then or the retirement. Remember that plan? We well, were going to our retirement was the bad we beat somewhere in no hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get away from everyone. <laughs> it was a lot of us. <laughs> well, my favourite part of a wedding day, um, it's it's a all of it really. It's the preparation, you know, the nervousness of the bridesmaids and the bride, and you know the giddiness and. The dress hanging up and coming down the stairs and stuff, and then of course you've got the vows and you've got everything else. Um, but my favourite part is really, you know, the reception. You gotta get good entertainment. You gotta go out and do it right. Um, you know, see if, if it's a good band and like you've got the likes of superstar DJs, you know it's gonna be a good night. You just know it's gonna be a good night. Um, 
But there's no point in me telling. Here's a wee clip. It'll show you exactly what the what, what it's like working with a superstar these days on a wedding day. Well, see, it's just, oh, for this COVID-19 stuff as well, you know, people are right to put their, their weddings back, you know, because they, they don't want any restrictions to as well. Um, hopefully it'll all bounce back really, really quick where we can get back to partying like that too as well. Because it's just, oh, I miss it. I miss the team. I miss everybody. Um, no, well, listen, I think that's it. Boss, well, yeah. thanks very much for coming on. Yes, no problem. Uh, Thank you for having me. Hopefully, uh, you were the first one on. Next week we've got, uh, I think it's Catherine or Emma, isn't it? And then Charm and mm. Greenhouse have got all them guys yeah. coming on. And then yep. I'm going to get a couple of braids on actually for a chat, see what they what dun, think, dun, you know. But you led the way there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Um, but I know, let's not give you a wee ring share and keep in touch. Right, no problem. Well, thanks very much for having me, Chris. All right, mate. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.